Okay, uh, excuse the traffic, it's four o'clock and this is four o'clock traffic on this road because the highway is still being worked on. So this is the bypass that runs parallel to the highway. So there's a lot of traffic and it's really just starting here. But uh, this is the uh, Princess Auto uh, backhoe, uh, towable backhoe. Now, my first impressions of this is very good. I bought this second hand and uh, I'll admit this thing here is quite, quite a workhorse. Um, you know, I'm not very good at uh, running backhoes or heavy equipment. You know, I'm a, I'm an industrial electrician. I I run lots of lifts and stuff, JLGs and all those, and I have no problem running those. And I'll have no problem running this, but. Uh, just have to get used to the controls, no big deal. There's only two joysticks anyway. So, it uh, has a coil, coiler, K-O-H-L-E-R. Not really quite sure how you pronounce it, that uh, name in the motor. But it's a nine, nine and a half horsepower, 277 cc's actually I thought it was a little bigger than that I thought uh, I thought they came with uh, 305 so that must be uh, a 10 horsepower but I have no problem with it because uh, you put that on high speed and uh, it has no problem at all running Two functions at a time. You you can be using two functions at a time, no problem, and it's fast. It, it I've seen the uh, Home Depot ones, and this thing here is much faster. Like when I go, I've got to uh, I get a my ditch is all filling in, so I have to redo the ditch. Now I'll, I'll do a video, and it won't be uh, won't be time lapsed. It'll be just me digging a ditch. And you'd be surprised how fast this thing will actually move. As fast as you can move it, it'll move. So, I am very impressed with it. The only thing could be better is the height of the wheels. The wheels should be a lot higher. Should be a bigger wheel on that. Because it has a piston underneath for the... Uh, the main boom and it's only usually about uh, four inches off the ground so when you're down like this that's yeah probably about four inches off the ground so that's probably the only downfall I can think of is that the, the tires should be bigger they should put vehicle tires on that thing because you're supposed to be able to tow it on the road so why would you want to tow something with a little wheel like that on you know you go any speed all that thing just flying the smaller diameter the faster it's going to have to spin so it just really doesn't make sense but uh, all in all I've run it here probably off and on for about three hours and you know it's it's just digging the place up it's having no problem at all well of course these aren't very big roots or anything like that but it's having no problem at all doing what i want to do and as i was uh operating it i was also thinking that uh it's it's kind of better than a small backhoe because every time you have to move a, a backhoe you have to lift the outriggers turn the seat around lift the bucket and move it 
Then you gotta put the bucket down, turn the seat around, drop the outriggers, and then start digging again. Well, this thing here, you wanna back up, you just put down the bucket and lift it up and back it up. You wanna move to the side, just move to the side. You know, I was, I was moving this way, digging this way, then I just move it over and I was digging that way. I, ha I didn't have to back up or anything. Well, actually, I moved it forward just to park it, but uh, I was just moving it back and forth. I just move it over this way, dig over here, move it over here, dig there. I, I, you can move it around. It's only on two wheels. So, yeah, you have no problem at all lifting the front of her and uh, moving it around. And it's got lots of power to move it, so it's not a problem there. But one of the key things that one of the guys said that uh, that has one of these things, the first thing you want to do is remove the trailer hitch. First thing. You don't want it easy for somebody to steal this. So the first thing you want to do is remove the trailer hitch on it. So I don't want to make this long. First impressions, very good. Very happy with it. Cheers.